Now, either somebody has an earache or there's something that somebody is sick and tired of hearing because this card keeps popping out with earache. I feel like it's that somebody don't want to hear something anymore. Let's see what's going on here in the collective. Okay, or somebody, something may be too painful for someone to hear. You know, yeah, three of swords. Okay, so something here about what somebody hears is going to cause them heartbreak. Somebody may even feel betrayed or... You know, someone doesn't like what they're about to hear. What is this that they're about to hear? What's this? What is this that someone's about to hear? Could involve an air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, from all the cards there. Could pertain to someone's uh, happiness, new beginnings, someone here kind of like choosing to move forward, an opportunity coming that, that somebody has been waiting for. Let's see. What is this that's going on here in the collective? Somebody doesn't want to hear something. What is this? The hangman could involve a Pisces. All right, so I feel like, you know, if it's involving a Pisces, somebody here may not like the fact that they have to let go. What is this? What is this that somebody hears? Three of Cups. There we go. Yeah. Somebody is about to have uh, some type of reunion, celebration. Uh, this could be an engagement, a wedding. There's like something that involves celebrating a group of people, having fun, being happy together. There is a, a hangman, somebody who's feeling trapped or feeling limited, feeling like they got to let it go. They don't want to hear that. Justice could be a Libra. The magician is coming out here. Somebody here. <laughs> this is justice for somebody else. Whatever this is that someone doesn't want to hear, this is justice for somebody else because somebody's manifesting something new. What happened in the past? Let's go there. The devil. Okay. Capricorn energy. So in the past, there was codependency, deception, lies, bondage, karmic activity all over the place, right? So what happened with this situation? We're going to take a trip down memory lane. Somebody was selfish. Somebody was thinking about themselves. Somebody could have been hiding some things here with this nine of cups. But at the same time, somebody here may have chosen their own, you know, happiness instead. Said, you know what? I don't want to deal with this karmic situation anymore. I'm going to go towards something that's more fulfilling. Somebody went towards something successful where they prospered. Okay. And where are we now? Queen of Wands in the reverse. Wow, that came out in the last reading here. Somebody is aggressive. Somebody's being a bully. Somebody's very demanding, overbearing. Somebody here could be resorting to manipulation, including spell work here, um, because they do not like what they're hearing. Will of Fortune. Somebody's going through karma here, okay? Something is changing for someone unexpected. Something is changing um, the karmic, the karmic wheel is turning and I feel like somebody here who's at the top of the wheel is celebrating that wheel of fortune is right beneath that three of cups. Somebody here is having a positive turn of events and there is somebody else that's going through negative events. Like I said, this is karmic justice for somebody. The emperor. So there could be an emperor, a father figure, someone who could be very stable, someone who'd be very grounded, someone um, who's very trustworthy, a leader. You know, this could be a court case. This could be someone who's making a final decision to rule in someone's favor. So somebody could be getting some good news in court that gives them reason to celebrate, and it's going to piss someone else off here. Somebody don't want to hear this outcome. Someone doesn't want to hear this verdict. So this could be someone winning a court case here. This could be against a father figure, too. What is what is going on here with the emperor? The high priest, the Pisces energy. Okay, so someone has an inner knowing. Someone here trusts their in, inner gut. Somebody here is very independent, very self-disciplined here. Someone who, Someone's spirit guides are leading them to make a fair and just decision. That someone doesn't, someone else doesn't want to hear. 
over here it looks like some legalities it really do it, it looks like something's going on where something is being judged the tower with the twink the, the queen of pentacles there could be something that's crum crumbling down something going on with the scorpio or a capricorn a scorpio and a capricorn but this could involve like someone losing something Someone going through a bankruptcy or having to go through some type of loss. But like I said, this is karmic justice for somebody. This Queen of Pentacles here. Tell me about this Queen of Pentacles. Six of Cups. Scorpio energy again. Two of Cups. Pisces energy. There could have been a union here. I feel like there's a queen of pentacles, someone who's very grounded, someone who's very stable. This could be a mother who's like focused on her home, on just making sure that things are kept the way it needs to be. Someone could have been trying to cause losses for this queen of pentacles here. And I feel like something is coming back on someone. A verdict or a decision is being made. Someone doesn't want to hear it. Yeah, five of, five of wands. Somebody doesn't want to hear it because they were fighting or trying to really come up against this person for some reason. What, 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 why were they coming up against this person? Four of Wands because of a family situation, a home. Maybe they were married. There's something involving like a foundation here. So someone wanted to come up against someone because either they were in a marriage or they're trying to prevent this person from having stability here. I, it feels like somebody wanted to interrupt someone's um, yeah, Scorpio energy again. Ah, somebody could be trying to stop someone from having success, being stable. Wow. I feel like it's not going to work here. Yeah, look at the Seven of Swords coming out here. The Queen of Swords coming. The Eight of Cups. So somebody is, somebody is moving on from something, a situation. There's another person that's getting news that they don't want to hear. Possibly about a lot of money that they either have to pay out or about someone else coming into a lot of money that makes them stable. Somebody here wanted to steal something from someone. They wanted to steal their, their stability, their money, something here, their joy, something of value someone wanted to take. They are not getting the good the news that they thought they were going to get. What else is going on here? This King of Pentacles. So there's a King of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles. This could be a divorce where somebody is getting the news that they're not going to get what they want. Somebody else is getting good news. Somebody else is not. I mean, that's usually how it goes. Judgment, a final decision here being made. One moment, guys. Okay, guys, I'm back. Well, let me just say this here. I did pull a few more cards with the King of Pentacles being over here queen of pentacles over here this could be like a separation of a business partnership a marriage a relationship but somebody here is getting um fair something being made right on their behalf that's going to allow them to be able to move forward have more options to choose from in life or in love here with the lovers and the queen of cups i feel like someone here is, is going to be going with their with their gut and move it towards something that is more emotionally fulfilling. So I feel like so a chapter closes here for someone and um, opens a new direction for somebody else. And, you know, all is fair in love and war, because that's what this feels like. It was a, some type of war battle or something, but I feel like the right person wins it and um, somebody else is just left to... You know, to be upset about it with the Five of Cups out here. To be upset and disappointed in the outcome. All right, so this is what I have, guys. I will come back to do another one. I'll see you guys soon. I'm not trying to take you, but away.